Hi everyone, it's Captain Magnar. In a previous video, I showed you an approach into Lampang Airport in Thailand. What you did not see was the instruments. Therefore, I have filmed the same approach from inside the cockpit. It's a different flight, and this time the first officer is PF, pilot flying. The ATR-72-600 has a gloss cockpit consisting of five LCD screens. In front of each pilot, there are two identical set of screens. On the glare shield, there is a control panel for the flight guidance system or the autopilot. And on the pedestal, there are more controls for the screens. In this video, we are flying an ATR-72-600 with standard 3.2 software. Here are the screens on the captain's side. To the left is the PFD, the primary flight display. And to the right is the MFD, the multifunction display. The first officer has the same set of instruments, they just have swapped positions. Right now we are flying at 187 knots at flight level 180 and ATC has cleared us to descend to flight level 130 when we are ready. Pilot flying uses the ALT cell knob on the flight guidance control panel to set the new altitude. We will start the descent when you reach TOD, top of descent which is shown on the navigation display on the MFD. We still have some distance to go. The colors on the displays have a specific meaning. Cyan means manual operation and armed flight director modes. Green means automatic operation. Magenta means that the function is managed by the FMS, the flight management system. Yellow means references and temporary information. White means stationary information, for example the scale on the speed indicator. On the top of the PFD is the FMA, the Flight Mode Annunciator. All active modes are shown in green. LNAV stands for Lateral Navigation, which means the flight director follows the active flight plan in the FMS. ALT means Altitude Hold, we are maintaining our altitude. AP means that the autopilot is engaged. FD means that the flight director is active. The flight director consists of two bars. The vertical bar gives lateral steering commands. That means it tells you to follow LNAV. And the horizontal bar gives you vertical steering commands, which means that it tells you to maintain your altitude. And the arrow to the right tells us that the first officer is PF, pilot flying. I had to freeze the video here because I made a pause from filming and started the camera a couple of seconds too late. A couple of miles before top of descent, pilot flying selected vertical speed mode and turned the pitch wheel to set minus 1100 feet per minute. Then the pilot flying pushed the auto man push button to activate manual target speed and the speed target becomes Cyan. And as we start the video again, the pilot flying used the speed target knob to set 240 knots. And as the airplane starts to descend, alt cell mode is automatically armed in cyan color. The little yellow arrow shows what the speed will be 10 seconds from now, if the acceleration remains constant. We could have let the FMS initiate the descent, but it's a bit uh, abrupt. So we do it manually for the sake of passenger comfort. We are now descending a bit below the profile, but soon the V-bar will return. The vertical speed indicator is to the right of the altimeter. The CN number and bug are vertical rates selected by the pilot. The green number and the needle are the actual vertical rate. Banco Control instructed us to contact Lampang approach on 109.3. That frequency is already in the standby window and all I have to do is to read back the instruction from Banco Control and change the frequency. And now the vertical bar is centered and pilot flying pushed the Vina push button activating Vina path mode. The FMS will now maintain a desired descent path all the way to final approach fix while respecting all altitude constraints. Target vertical speed has now changed to magenta because it's controlled by the FMS. I established contact with the Lampang approach. The controller clears us to descend to 7,000 feet. And pilot flying sets altitude select accordingly. 
The range on the navigation display is set with two push buttons on the AFIS control panel. Nampanga Proj clear is direct to Marbo waypoint. This shortens the track a bit and we are certainly 240 feet above the vertical path. In response to this, the flight director commands the airplane to increase the rate of descent. The pilot flying found a new descent rate to be excessive and decided to switch to VS mode manually and restrict the descent rate. And now we are back on the profile and we engage Vina Path again. As I said before, Magenta Color means that the function is managed by the FMS, the Flight Management System. Before takeoff, we program the route into the FMS, and as the flight progresses, we make amendments. On the navigation display, the active leg and the next waypoint are Magenta. Likewise, the bearing, the lateral deviation bars, and the vertical deviation bar are all magenta. And when we use LNAP half mode, target vertical speed is magenta as well. Here is the status for the TCAS, the Traffic and Collision Avoidance System. Below means that traffic up to 2,700 feet above us and 9,900 feet below us are shown on the navigation display. The transition level in Thailand is flight level 130. We use the bio set knob to set Q and H. To set standard, you simply push the knob. The DHMDA knob below is used to set decision height when you fly ILS Cat 2, or minimum descent altitude when you fly all other kind of approaches. Or minima is 1400 feet. In preparation for approach, I set the frequency for Lampang Tower in the standby window. The heading bug is set with the heading knob. To center the heading bug, simply push the knob. The actual heading is shown with a yellow triangle on the HSI and in a yellow box on the navigation display. The actual track is shown with a magenta diamond symbol. The true airspeed and ground speed are shown on the upper left corner on the navigation display. The difference between those speeds is the wind, which is displayed below with the wind direction and velocity. In the upper right corner, we have the name, bearing distance and time to go to the next waypoint. Most of this information is repeated on the PFD. Pilot flying sets the target speed to 230 knots. The maximum allowed speed with flaps up, VMO, is 250 knots. Above that speed is a red and white band, the maximum speed limit band. We also call it the barber pole. To the left of the PFD is a clock. It's showing the time in UTC, universal time coordinated. Local time in Thailand is UTC plus 7 hours. The clock also has a timer and a chronograph. When passing 10,000 feet, I select no device and seatbelt signs on. Then I select the system page for the cabin. The differential pressure between the cabin and the atmosphere is 3.8 psi, that the cabin altitude is 1,600 feet, and that the cabin is descending at 400 feet per minute. All indications are normal. The ATR doesn't have HEPA filter that can stop coronavirus. Therefore, it's a policy to fly with the recirculation fans off and the air condition is set to high flow to give the same airflow to the cabin. Lampang has a VOR with DME, similar to what you see on this picture. Both nav receivers are tuned to 114.7 MHz, which is the frequency of Lampang VOR. The needle shows the bearing to the VOR, and the distance is shown here, and here, and here, and here. We are now 25 miles from Lampang, and approach control clears us to descend to 6,000 feet, which is minimum altitude at the Maibo waypoint, where the approach starts. We are now cleared for our new approach, Renault 36, and pilot flying arms vertical flight path mode. I adjust the range on the navigation display to 20 nautical miles. 
The navigation display is in terrain mode and we can see the highest terrain ahead of us. As we descend further, the terrain will change from green to yellow and then to red. Each waypoint has an assigned altitude. The letter A behind the altitude means that we can pass at or above that altitude. If there is a B behind the altitude, we must cross at or below that altitude. No letter at all means that we must pass the waypoint at that altitude. We have programmed the FMS to give us a 3 degrees descent profile, and we will pass Marbo above 6,000 feet. The final approach fix is called Lima Papa Tango Sierra Foxtrot. We must cross that fix at 2,400 feet. Altitude select is set to the same altitude. The blue arrow and the blue number show where we will reach 2,400 feet if we maintain the current descent profile. As you can see, we will cross final approach fix exactly at 2,400 feet. It's time to slow down for the initial approach speed. On ATO 72, it's 170 knots. Until now, we have used manual target speed during descent, but from now on, we will switch back to automatic target speed, which is computed by the FMS. Note, automatic target speed does not mean that the airplane will keep the speed for you. ATR aircraft don't have auto throttle. The autopilot follows commands from the FMS to maintain the descent profile, and it's the job of the pilot to fly the correct speed by adjusting the power. We in our path mode has a benefit of a vertical speed, VS mode. If you fly with VS mode during approach, the autopilot will fly with a specified rate of descent. But if there is a vertical disturbance that puts you, for example, 100 feet above or below your profile, the aircraft will not return to your intended profile but continue 100 feet above or below. We in our path, on the other hand, will follow the descent profile. And if there has been a vertical disturbance, it will return back to the profile. As I said before, TCAS is set to below. I almost forgot the transponder. We have two of them, and number two is in use now with altitude reporting, or mode Charlie. We are now passing Pai Wan and Lampang Approach tells us to contact Lampang Tower on frequency 122.3. The second radio is set to 121.5, the emergency frequency. We listen to that frequency during flight, unless we are listening to 80s or communicate with ground operations. Lampang has neither of those. To be 100% correct, Lampang transmits 80s on an NDB frequency. But the range is so short that it's only practical for departure information. It's time to configure the airplane for landing. Maximum speed for flap 15 is 185 knots, which is marked with the two amber lines on the speed indicator. When flaps 15 is selected, the barber pole moves to 185 knots, and the FMS sets the target speed to 140 knots. The radio altimeter is now alive, vertical flight path mode becomes active, gear down. With vertical flight path mode active, we set the govern altitude. For this approach, it's 6000 feet. You can now see more and more of the terrain becoming red while we are descending. 
Maximum speed for flaps 30 is 150 knots. Flaps 30. The barber pole moves to 150 knots. The FMS sets the target speed to find the upward speed, which is 103 knots. The ported wind is inserted into the FMS and it will automatically add one third of the headwind component, or if the wind is gusty, the gust factor, but not more than 50 knots is added. In this case, there is no headwind and nothing is added to the final approach speed. We do the before landing checklist. Um, you can note that the terrain on the ND becomes more and more red as we are descending. We have 500 feet above minima. The minima marker is two amber lines on the ultimate strip. We have 1,000 feet above the runway. From here on, we must be stabilized. Or we go around. We are now visual with the runway. We are a little high and pilot flying selects VS mode and increases the rate of descent slightly. We are passing minimum descent altitude. We are visual and stabilized. The top of the red band at the lower part of the speed indicator is the stick shake speed. This speed varies with the G-load and angle of attack, which varies with turbulence and the input on the elevator from the pilot. The video to the right was filmed some days earlier. I was pilot flying and it was a little more turbulent, but the synchronization is more or less 99%. The autopilot and the yaw damper are selected off. And that's all for this time. Please support this channel by sharing with your friends, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and happy learning.